Just before we wrap up uh, this morning, we're going to go back in history. We should have done this earlier, but of course, a little rearrangement here and there. Mm -hmm. So we're going back in history, and I'm going back to the year 2019 to tell you about something very, um, you know, that has happened more times than Nigerians are comfortable with, and that is, you know, with regards to xenophobia in South Africa. On this day, the Nigerian government made moves to repatriate about 600 Nigerians who were stranded in South Africa after violence once again broke out in that country. And of course, the Nigerians were being attacked, their businesses were being attacked and burned. Um, it said it will repatriate 600 citizens um, after those xenophobic attacks has, um, uh, started. Ten people, including two foreigners, were killed in the city a week earlier when mobs attacked foreign-owned businesses. Uh, the attack started after lorry drivers staged a strike to protest against the employment of foreigners. And uh, back then in 2019, Abike Dabri, who was head of Nigerians and Diaspora Commission, said the government would not provide financial assistance to those leaving uh, South Africa, but at least would make moves to repatriate them. Um, and yeah, that, this happened on that day. I remember also very clearly uh, that uh, I think Air Peace and Alan Oyema um, uh, had to make his own, you know, contributions by providing air, uh, planes to bring these Nigerians back home from South Africa. So all this took place in 2019, and of course, uh, we're talking on this day, 9th of September, 2019. And quickly, I'm going back to the year um, 2015 when um, Queen Elizabeth II became the longest reigning monarch in the world. I mean. This was such a historic moment for them and the royal family. Um, she became queen. Um, the queen became monarch at the age of uh, uh, 25 on the death of her father, um, King George, on the 6th of February, um, 1952. Um, this was, um, she, she was aged 90 at that time and she had reigned for 64 years eight months and seven days and that's more than two thirds of her life. And uh, you know, the Queen had a comfortable uh, margin over the next longest serving monarch, who was the Sultan of Brunei. And, uh, you know, that, that really was the historic moment here in history about um, Queen Elizabeth taking over the monarch in 19, uh, 1952 and then becoming the longest serving monarch in the year 2015. Must be nice to just spend a whole lifetime um, as a Queen. You know, because this is a whole lifetime. You know, she may have started at 25, but of course she was in, you know, the palace before she even started. Must be really, really nice to not have to, you know, get paid at the end of the month. Can I get a chief chance you title must, in your village and get a feel of what that is? It's not the same thing. Absolutely not the same thing. You know, it must be really, really nice to just live a whole life where a country caters for your needs. You have absolutely no need mm -hmm. to hustle. Just exist. <laughs> Ooh, I, I mean, there's also the people who have criticized the British monarchy and the Queen and some of all the uh, things that uh, the, the wealth British they have, have amassed. Done. The wealth they have amassed have stolen allegedly from, not allegedly, stolen uh, from you know, African countries and countries that they colonized over time. And that also includes her crown. Um, the diamonds and the uh, ornaments on her crown, you know, were also reportedly stolen from African countries. Um, so there is that. Um, but still must be nice. Mm. Really and that's nice. it for you um, on Today in History, September uh, the 9th to September the 9th, 2015. Yes. And you went back to the year... 2019, uh, to speak about Nigerians being repatriated from South Africa after xenophobic attacks started. And this is where we will be wrapping up the breakfast this morning. Thank you very much for being a part of our conversations uh, right from start. We wish you a, a great uh, Thursday ahead. If you missed out on any of our conversations, you know where to find us. It's uh, simply at Plus TV Africa on Facebook and Instagram. We have YouTube. Yes, at Plus TV Africa as well. And do um, subscribe to our new YouTube channel if you haven't already. It's at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Thank you very much for watching. I am Annetta Felix. And I am Osaogi Ogbawan.